Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Okay, let's start with 50 Cent and Daphne Joy. Now, let me ask y'all this, okay? Put a teacup in the chat. If you guys remember me saying this, like at least a few weeks ago, and I was like, 50 Cent might want to simmer down. He's doing a lot of talking and kikiing, but he got his own skeletons too. Okay, because I ain't forgot about when he allegedly whooped Daphne Joy's ass, trashed her apartment. Remember, put a teacup if y'all remember me saying this a few weeks ago, that he needs to simmer down, you know, worrying about Diddy when he got his own domestic violence issues. Okay, you see the chat? Okay, thank you. So... Again, 50 been out here doing the most, you know, laughing and, and joking. Now, I will say this. I had to go back and, like, find old, like, news articles. A lot of the stuff has been deleted off of the Internet. I don't know if y'all know, and, and I guess I probably have more privy to stuff just because I do a lot of deep dives, so I'm always looking for, like, archived stories and things. But I'm noticing... The more I edit or I look into stuff, a lot of things are being deleted off of the internet. And I don't know if it's because the celebrities are requesting it or just what, but it took me a while to find some of the old articles from 2013 um, of the situation with Daphne Joy and 50 Cent. But what I could not find were the pictures. I don't know if I'm the only one. But do you guys remember the TMZ pictures from back in 2013 of her apartment ransacked, her door kicked in? Like, I remember those pictures. I could not find them anywhere. Like, I searched high and low. You can, you can barely find articles. I couldn't find the pictures at all. So, yeah, I've been noticing that a lot. So put a teacup if y'all remember the pictures and the door kicked in. Okay, Miss Sparkle says she remembers. Okay. I used the Wayback Machine. I couldn't even find it on there. Like, trust me, I was digging. I could not find the pictures at all. So, yeah, they're, they're scrubbing the internet of a lot of stuff. But y'all know I got a damn photographic memory, so I don't forget shit. So even with us not having, you know, the, the receipts, right, we don't have the pictures, I still remember, you know, a lot of what happened. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pull up the article here from 2013. Well, no, actually, let's see here. Let, let's start with the 50 Cent poking the bear. We'll start with that before we even go into the articles that I found here. Let's see. Okay, so after I did my last video the other day, when, um, when I edited that video, it was pretty early. So at that point, he hadn't responded. But then, of course, he took to his social media page and he responded and he's basically asking for full custody of their son sire so let me go ahead and um pull up this article really quick here so he was kind of like you know making fun of her and calling her a sex worker so let me share my screen really quick here okay so 50 cent um, is reportedly seeking sole custody of his son after his ex-girlfriend Daphne Joy was named as an alleged sex worker in a lawsuit against Diddy. Fifth welcomed his second son, Sire Jackson, with Joy in 2012, and they split shortly after. U.S. Weekly reports that Fifth isn't happy about her being named um, in Rodney Little Rod Jones' lawsuit against Diddy. Um, so long story short, you know, that went viral. And then, um, oh, hold on, let me see, make sure I have the, okay. Let me share this screen. So he kept kind of like poking at her and calling her a sex worker. So then she came out and this is what she said. Let me move this closer so I can read it. Okay. She says, everything is a joke to you until our safety is compromised, which is happening. You are wrecking the you are wrecking real havoc, frenzy and chaos into other people's lives. 
How would you feel if Sire was the one in handcuffs for nothing? We moved to New York to give you the opportunity to be a father to your son, and you saw him 10 times out of the two years that we lived one mile away from you. I am tired of upholding and, protect and protecting your image to our son that you have never that you have never even earned. Let's put the real focus on your true evil actions of arring me and physically abusing me. You are no longer my oppressor and my God will handle you from this point on. You have permanently dam damaged the last hope I had for you as a father to preserve our families with these last Hold on. With these last final false claims made against me, you have broken our hearts for the last and final time. So that is what Daphne said. Then she goes on to say, I'm deeply hurt by the lies in Rodney Jones's lawsuit. The claim that I am a sex worker <laughs> is 100% false in character assassination. I'm retaining an attorney to explore our legal remedies against both Rodney and his attorney. Okay, sis. Then she says, I wouldn't wish this on any woman. God hears me, and that's all that matters. Then he replies back and he says this. You moved a while of, you moved a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy, so you moved back, and then you started receiving money. <laughs> Then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Now here we are, a little sex worker. He's a mess. Um, and then he posted this, 50 Cent reportedly seeking sole custody of son. So um, he says, it is what it is. See you in family court, sex worker. Okay, so still trolling her. Um, so now let me go ahead and take you guys back to 2013. Now again, I can't confirm or deny um, if he r her, you know, I wasn't there. So I'm not even going to go there with the R allegations. But we do know that there was domestic violence claims filed against uh, 50 Cent. Let me see here. So I'm going to share this tab here. So this was from July 5th of 2013. Alleged victim in 50 Cent's domestic violence case is a model and actress. So they're saying a Los Angeles woman whom 50 Cent is accused of kicking in of kicking in a domestic violence incident is a model and actress who had a part in Pirates of the Caribbean. Daphne Joy, who was born in the Philippines, had a baby by the rapper and is now focusing on the safety for the child and herself. Now, if you guys don't remember this, nobody knew that they had a kid together. OK, so while he's trying to, you know, I, I get a, I get him petitioning the court. But back then, this was hush hush. OK, nobody knew that they had a kid together. And here are the receipts. We didn't know that this baby was even born until this domestic violence allegation because his name was not in the birth certificate. So nobody knew. This is another article from back then. 50 cents proves that he's not the father of ex-girlfriend's child. So there was a bunch of paternity, you know, disputes and discussions. Um, he was eventually found out to be Sire's father. So initially, um, yeah, the, the Zodical and him were not, this was not like a happy blended family. This was a bunch of drama, okay? So anyhow, what they're saying, okay, this is what they're saying happened. Let me go ahead and share this article with y'all. So they're saying Raptor 50 Cent has been charged with attacking ex-girlfriend and thrashing their, her Los Angeles home. The star is accused of kicking and injuring his former partner after breaking down the door to the bedroom that she had locked herself in. And those photos of the broken bedroom door were all over TMZ, but in 2024, they have been scrubbed off the internet. Um, he allegedly destroyed her property worth $7,000 during the altercation with the mother of the child the pair have uh, that the pair have together. Police say they found broken chandeliers, damaged furniture throughout the woman's apartment. Officers also found a ransacked bedroom closet and the women's clothes thrown all over the floor. They said the rapper, whose real name is Curtis Jackson, had left the scene before the police arrived, okay? So again... He was charged with domestic violence and vandalism. So 
Again, I wasn't there. I don't know about the R allegations. That's for her and 50 Cent to sort out. But her accusations of domestic violence are very real. Um, I saw a lot of people saying, oh, she's only saying this to protect Diddy. No, she's not just saying that to protect Diddy. This happened in 2013. A lot of y'all were too young and or don't remember, but she's not lying about that. This is why we keep receipts on this channel, okay? Um, so let me see here. Afterwards, he was found, he was able to cop a plea deal. So let's go to this article. So around October of that same year, he was able to cop a, a plea deal and they ended up dismissing the domestic violence charge. Okay, so that was dismissed. Um, he also spent time trolling her online as well and, um, you know, kind of clowning her. And then a year later, the other baby mama came out. Okay, this is why I said, you know, he needs to chill. He's doing a lot of, you know, poking at the bear when his, you know, backyard ain't clean. So the first baby mama, the black one, uh, Shaniqua Tompkins, she came out a year later. Because remember, him and the son, the older son, were beefing. This is the older son that, that looks just like him that he doesn't claim. He didn't show up to that child's graduation. And so a lot of people were reaching out to her like, you know, why did he not come to the graduation? Did you not, you know, tell him? And so she was kind of defending herself. And um, in this article, trying to find the thing here. Okay, later on in the interview, she details a physical altercation in front of then 10-year-old Marquise and his sister, who is her oldest child. When my daughter saw it, the abuse, that was my breaking point, she said. Tompkins confessed to cheating on 50 at the time. She maintained that it was after he allegedly cheated on her first. When he found out, he flipped out. When I got home, he lost it completely. Even my daughter walked in in the room and he was still hitting me, she recalled. I hate to sound like a battered woman, but it just bothers me. He really lost it. He broke down and cried. That's why I say it's so scary because he was hitting me in one moment. He's angry. And in the next moment, he's in my lap crying like a baby. It's a lot of issues there. In her mind, 50 is still dealing with childhood abandonment issues that stem from his mother's death. Over the years, he has created his own reality, one that Marquise is no longer affected by. He misses his dad and he loves his dad, she pointed out. Of course it hurts, but I think when a person does stupid things all the time, it starts to lose impact. Him just being him, I think Marquise feels sorry for him. So that's not one, but two domestic violence allegations. So that is why I said that a few weeks ago, that he might want to simmer down a bit, okay? Um, again, we keep receipts here. And, and, you know, please, before y'all sit here and be like, oh, you're a hater. You're just trying to bring down 50 Cent. Anybody who knows me knows I'm a big fan of 50 Cent. I love his music. Okay, Get Rich or Die Trying, one of my favorite albums. Okay, like, I don't know. I'm just the type, like, I don't, I, I know how to separate the artist from the music. Like, one of my favorite so so 50 Cent songs, Many Men Wish Death Upon Me, Blood In My Eyes, Dog And I Can't See. I'm trying to be what I'm destined to be, but niggas trying to take my life away. I put a hole in a nigga for fucking with me. My Mac on the wall, now you gonna see. Better watch how you talk when you talk about me. Cause I'll come, okay, so again, I'm not no hater, bitch. Don't have me go on a 50 cent rap -athon, okay? So I hate when people are like, oh, she's just a, no, like, I, I really fuck with these artists, okay? I really fuck with the mute, okay? Thank you, queens in the house. Y'all not ready? So, no, I'm a big fan of 50 Cent. I'm a big fan of his music. I respect his entrepreneurship. But, bitch, I got a job to do. Okay? I have a job to do. Go ahead and start rapping and get, getting gangster. <laughs> okay, somebody said Drake who? <laughs> yes, Queens is in the building, okay? So, again, I'm not doing this to, like, you know, throw the black man under the bus. I provide receipts, okay? I'm a fan of these people's music, but TT knows how to separate the artists from the fuck shit. And I hold everybody accountable, okay? That's just what I do here. I hold everybody accountable. 50 might be one of my favorite rappers, but I'm still gonna call his ass out, okay? And I saw a lot of people attacking Daphne. Again, I'm not speaking on the R situation because I, I don't know anything about that, but per the receipts, 
they, he put hands on her, allegedly, okay? And, you know, again, those charges were dismissed, but there was some type of altercation. I still remember them pictures from the apartment. Showed y'all the receipts of the first baby mama saying the same thing. Okay, so again, sometimes where there's smoke, there's fire. That's why I was saying a few weeks ago, buddy, you might want to simmer down. I fuck with you and your music, but you might want to slow down, constantly poking the bear and making fun of Diddy because your backyard ain't clean either. Okay? If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.